my friend and I, Will, we're, we're uh, expert analysts of the NFL because we've watched it since we were kids. Um, so we're very credible. Yeah. <laughs> Super credible. <laughs> and I'm the most irrational Titans fan of all time. Uh, I believe that uh, we're going to go 16-1 and one this year. Yeah. Uh, we'll go home field advantage, win the Super Bowl. So it should, it should work out. Um, in my assessment, teams that have a championship culture have a coach that has been there for a long time. And then you see other organizations that try and they just keep switching coaches. Like when you look at the Steelers, which I'm not a Steelers fan, but you look at the Steelers, Tomlin. You look at the Patriots, Belichick. I don't know that I look at other, I mean, the Ravens have, have kept Harbaugh for, a, for a, well, quite some time. Others have a revolving. Is that a common factor? For culture? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's hard because, you know, the way coaching staffs work these days is it's they bring their friends. They're good coaches and they're qualified, but those guys get the call first over, you know, a, a, a different coach um, or maybe a coach that's been there a long time, you know, very – very few organizations will keep the entire staff. A guy comes in and he, it's all his, you know, buddies or coaches or someone from his tree that, that comes in. And so it's hard to, you know, like when we went, when I went to Denver, Josh changed out the, McDaniels changed out the whole staff. Um, most of the staff kept a few, um, kept the strength coach and the trainers and a few other guys, but, you know, brought in a lot of his, you know, line coach and defensive coordinators and all this stuff. And we were 6-0. and And everyone's like, Okay, this is how the Patriots do it. We went to bye week. We came back. We're two and eight, and so it's not only the coaches, but it's the players buying in and yeah. like you know uh, being able to be called out. I had someone text me the other day, uh, Pat uh, Pat Manley, the snapper for the Bears for like fifteen years, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Hey, you know, did Bill ever call anyone out in team meetings?" And my reply, I mean, I could show you. I was like, "Dude." From Tom to Seau to the trainers to the ball boys, if they didn't set the ball in practice proper, everyone's given MF'd and called out. No one, no one's safe in those team meetings. He's like, that's what I thought. It's like they don't do that in Chicago. And I'm like, you know, why? You know, if, if the quarterback's always going to be on the pedestal and then all the other players are like, man, why don't I get treated like that? Mm-hmm. So Bill, treat everyone like shit. <laughs> <laughs> So you, there's no question where you stand, right? There's no question where you stand. I didn't know that one was coming, Molly. I thought you were coming around. I thought you were coming around a different way. You went straight through. You went, you went straight straight at it in oh, that, in that place. That's, that's true. And, and I think that develops culture and because it, it, the locker room's got to be tough. You yeah. know? There is no prima donnas. There's no one better than the other. And so new staffs who come in, you know, probably are like, oh well, you know, this quarterback he just got paid a hundred million bucks. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna call out Patrick Mahomes in a team meeting because you know it's Patrick Mahomes. It, that didn't happen in New England, so I don't know how it is in other places. I know that Josh tried to bring that to Denver. Yeah, um, guys thought it was just gonna be easy. They're like, oh, this is how it goes, and then we were two and eight after the break, and they started to collapse mentally. Uh-huh. You know, just get frustrated and and you know break. You know, no one came together. Everyone was like pointing fingers and. You know, there was your core players who knew that, hey, we can't do this. And then there was other guys who were just there for a cup of coffee or, you know, six months that just weren't buying in. 